During this session today, we're going to have a look at the way that we generate drawings from our model uh, inside Open Buildings Designer Connect Edition uh, using the dynamic view system. So the dynamic view system has been around since V8i, but, is, but, but, it, but now in Connect supersedes the uh, retired uh, drawing instruction manager system. And we'll look at all the different uh, uh, functionalities and techniques uh, within that um, dynamic view system to generate your your um, drawings um, from primarily your still models. So as a starting point, all our drawing production systems within Open Building Designer are, are located under the um, Building Design Task Navigation and in the Drawing Production tab. And within here, you'll see you can create floor plans, sections, elevations, details, and all our views are then stored as a list inside the Save View dialog box. One thing that's key when creating your callout is to always ensure that you choose a drawing seed. Now, not choosing a drawing seed will end up with a an output or a drawing that will take uh, the user quite a bit of time to rectify back to something that that, that they want. It's a good idea for the administrator to set up some predefined um, drawing seeds to suit most of your, your drawing production needs and then afterwards you can make minor tweaks to, to alter that to, to the way you want those uh, drawings to look and feel. The product itself comes pre-delivered with a bunch of um, seed files um, and of course you can use those as the starting point to then add further ones that um, suit your own, your own needs. So let's go and have a look in Open Buildings at how we are going to create that initial drawing. In this case, we'll, we'll use a floor plan. So in Open Buildings, what we've provided with the session is a is, is a work set that includes some example files um, that we'll use here in this uh, session. And we're calling it the Steel Drawing Production uh, Work Set. And we'll open up a file called platform.dgn. Okay, so one once open, we've got this little example file here. It's a good idea to I like to minimise, um, I'll maximise my screen there. Um, so what we'll do is under building the, the building design uh, workflow here, we'll come out to our drawing production um, tab over here, and what we'll see is the create views area. And and in this instance, what we'll do is we'll be creating a plan. So the first thing to do when creating a plan it's always a good idea to rotate, say, to, you, to your front view, and that way you can run your plan straight across, uh, like we have with the existing plan that's on the screen. So let's go and take a look at that. So if I do the plan drop down, we can create multiple plans, more designed for a, I guess, a multi-story building. But um, if we want to do one-off plans, we can use the plan caller here. And here's the very important dialog box that comes with play, placing those callouts. And as mentioned, the essential part here is to choose um, a particular drawing seed there for, you know, to give a, a base look and feel. You can see here we've, we've, it's delivered with many predefined types that come with the product. In this case, we might go down and use the structured framing plan from down below. And you'll see we also have the create drawing dialog box. And what that means once ticked, is that means that you'll be presented with a dialog box after the call out's placed, which allows you to then reference the view that this creates onto a drawing model, which is you know, a 2D, 2D model, and then onto a sheet if you choose to do that. Unchecking this will just place the call out only. So when placing the, the call out itself, um, and it's in this diagram here, now, once we've chosen our, our drawing seed, an important drawing seed, we can choose to find the, uh, the start of the call out um, by clicking on the screen on uh, the left hand side here and then run that call out to the right hand side. This will define the end of the call out and also, you know, the, 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 two, the side extents of the view on the side and the side extents of the view on that side. And then we run that down uh, to a distance somewhere down here, um, which will define the forward. Extended the view as well. 
So let's leave it checked and let's place our our first call out on the screen. So we place it on the screen, run it out to the to the right, and then project it to the distance uh, that we want to show in our forward projection. And in this case, we'll just do it right the way through. And here we're presented with the the dialog box, uh, which will run through all the details of this and get a good understanding of what it does. The Create Drawing dialog box comes in, in three parts. The top part is, is our view settings. And this is largely what we define um, when we choose that drawing seed uh, at the beginning. What we can do up here is to give our view, the view that's stored within the Save View dialog box a name. So in this case, they've called it Structural Plan, but we could, we could give it any any particular name we want. That name could tie in with our um, naming convention for, for example, in this case, for your, your general arrangement plans. For consistency, uh, it is a good idea to name your view the same as the drawing model where the view is going to be referenced to, just to, to keep an understanding of, of what ties in with what. So down in the next section is our drawing settings, and this is where we can get an automated creation of our 2D drawing model. Now the 2D drawing model is where the, the plan view is referenced to. And within the drawing model itself is where we may choose to do um, additional drafting or additional annotating. It's where our auto annotations appear, our auto grids appear, um, and so forth generally indicated by a greyish background um, and here we, we can we can either have the drawing model appear in the same file that we're currently in or we can we can create a new file and have it uh, put into a new file or in, in a new folder if we've got a specific folder for these drawing models you can also set the intended drawing scale here meaning you can have one Annotation size right across all your projects and change the size of the text via the, the drawing scale or the annotation scale. The next uh, box down just here is just worth noting that by default the visible edge mode is set to cached. You can have it set to dynamic or cached, but moving forward we're 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 looking at the cached mode as the as the default operation and gives us a little bit more flexibility in the appearance of our drawings. The final section is the sheet setting section. Now, if you wanted to create a sheet um, in combination with this process, you can do here. It may be easier to not create the sheets here and have them as a separate process that you create all your sheets and bring all your drawings onto uh, later on in the process. The final box here says open model. Uh, and what it will do is it will open the final thing that is created so in this case with this setup with we're creating a view then a drawing model which references the view then a sheet which would reference the drawing model back through to the view so in this case we're not creating the sheet so the final output drawing it will open is the drawing model here um, or you can uncheck this if you want to remain in the file that you're, you're currently in so let's have a look at the create drawing dialog box here what we'll do is give our uh, view a name and in this case I might call it plan 001 this is the first plan that we create and I'll copy copy that um, name so I'll use that in the, the, the drawing model so down here if I have this unchecked and but create drawing model checked what it will do is create a drawing model in the current file I'm, uh, I'm in however if I wanted to put that drawing model in another folder I can check that box and hit the new button so out here, what we'll do is have a look at uh, the folder. By default, we'll go to the drawings model. That can be configured to another folder should the user choose to, or the admin choose to do so. So we'll pop that in the drawings folder. We'll, we'll paste that name in. So there's consistency between the, the view name and the, the drawing model name. Don't worry about the seed. Again, that's defined as a configuration uh, variable. So we'll hit save, and um, we don't want it to create a sheet model, so I'll uncheck that, but just back up here, we can also adjust our scale, plus also whether we want it to be dynamic or cached visible edges. By default, it's cached, and that's the probably best way to, to move forward. And we'll have that open, the, the final drawing model, so we can expect, inspect what the initial session looks like.
Okay, so this is the, the, the result. Um, so let's have a quick look at, at what this is doing. We're in a 2D uh, file here, um, which is referencing the save you. Let's have a look at our reference file dialog box, and you can see in the reference file dialog box that's coming from our, our model, and it's referencing the save you. And the orientation field here indicates the save you, and you can see the different save views there. So, other things to take note, we have the, the, the structural um, re-symbolization going here. You can see a rule name at the bottom of the property there indicating uh, the, the rule name that it's taking on. We have automatic uh, annotation um, you know, for both um, plans, but also cut through objects and various other types of, of re-symbolization. So this is where most of our annotation by default and re-symbolization uh, occurs and where we see the, the, the change of effect. Um, so let's head back to our, our model um, and have a look at what's, what's going on in there as well. So we can either hit the back button here um, to get back. So when uh, back in the model, um, you know, we'll, we'll end up building up a uh, collection of these callouts um, in our view or in our, in our model here that will, that will be the guide for us to show us how to direct us to each drawing um, on our project. Now, not only can we get to each one of the views via the callouts in our model, they're also stored in the saved view dialog box. So with this, with this save view dialog box, we'll build up a um, pretty good list of drawings uh, once we march through our project creating those drawings. Another thing to point out too is on each of the callouts, um, you will have what's called a mini toolbar when you hover over uh, each one of those callouts. And it does a number of things, um, but you can also apply the view in the 3D model to have a look what it looks like. So let's have a look at how how this actually uh, works. So here we have our model um, and we have a couple of callouts listed here. Um, we mentioned earlier, we'll have a look at the, the save view dialog box and the save view dialog box will show us all our, our views that are in this model. Um, the, the one we've got here is called uh, Plan 01 and there it is up, up here and you can see in the fly out it, it tells us it's called Plan 01, and we have this second one down here called uh, Plan. And both are there listed in our Save View dialog box. So, like anything with Save Views, if you wanted to apply the view, you can click on the view and hit the Apply Save View button, and then click in to the view. And if I hit the, the previous view previous, we go back to our initial state. Um, but also we can get to those views from the callouts themselves. So if I hover over the callout here, we have the mini toolbar. And the first button on the, the right left hand side here is your apply plug view button. And you'll notice with the drop down, we have the same settings that we have when we apply the view from the save view dialog box. Okay, so again, we can hover over that. We can hover over that and apply the view and we can have a look at what that looks like. Okay. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.